This man should be running on his past record. He doesn't have a past record. She's a white supremacist. This is awful. Now at five, it is election night in the Tri-State, and a heated race is coming to a head in Queens. See what's at stake across the city tonight as voters cast their ballots in a number of crucial races. I'm Adam Cooperstein. And I'm Gilma Avalos. It is election night in the Tri-State, and here in the city, nearly every single New York City council seat is up for grabs. Republicans in Queens, Brooklyn, and the Bronx are hoping to add to the five GOP members already on the council. In Bay Ridge, Democratic Councilman Justin Brandon facing off against Republican candidate Ari Kagan. And one of the most heated races this election day is happening in Queens, where Republican Councilwoman Vicki Palladino fighting to keep her seat against the man that she defeated just two years ago, Democrat Tony Avella. Government Affairs reporter Melissa Russo live in the newsroom with the war of words on the campaign trail in Queens today. Melissa. Yeah, Gilma, you know, as election days go, this one was supposed to be pretty quiet here in the city because there are not really any big races at the top of the ticket in the five boroughs. But in Whitestone and Kew Gardens today, it was kind of loud. And the narrative that he's putting out there is lied. Outside a poll Which site is, today, course, Republican Council member Vicki Palladino Brown defending Boy, herself. She's a white supremacist. This is awful. It's a raucous rematch. Democrat Tony Avella lost this council seat to Palladino by 300 votes two years ago. He says she has ties to the right wing Proud Boys. You want to call me a proud mother? You call me a proud mother. Here in this more conservative Queens district, many voters swing between parties, and they all talk about public safety. Crime is rampant. The crime is up. Safety is very, very important. He's a common sense Democrat. Some of Vela volunteers point to his eight years of experience in the city council. They accuse the Paladino campaign of dirty tricks. I've received threats. They've knocked down the signs. We call him phony. Tony, okay? Or basement Tony. Come out of hiding, Tony. He says you've been hiding in your basement. My basement is my campaign headquarters. That's a line from the Donald we Trump no playbook. Choice. We can't lock ourselves up in a basement like Joe does. Council seats in all 51 districts are on New Yorkers' ballots today, but most of the hotly contested races involve Democratic incumbents in moderate areas trying to fend off Republican challengers. For instance, in Brooklyn's 47th district, Democrat Justin Brannon is trying to hold off against challenger Ari Kagan, who switched parties just to run against Brannon. Lorraine Baldari says she'll vote for Avella, in part because he delivered a dog run in Little Bay Park near her home and because she prefers his character. person that represents us should be... Um, she care about us and she care about the neighborhood. And do you feel like your current council member does? Are you no? Um... And for those voters anywhere in the city who are concerned about crime, there are three district attorneys on the ballot in Bronx, Queens, and in Staten Island, and there are also several judges up for election today. The polls close in just under four hours. Gilman Adam. Melissa, it means you still have time to vote if you haven't already done so. In New York, polls are open until 9 p.m. Polls in New Jersey and Connecticut close at 8. And we have a full Election Day breakdown of all of the races on our website. Just visit NBCNewYork.com or download the NBC4 New York app.